In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, we now enter into the last day of July, the 31st. It is Friday. And today, I want us to reflect on how we can connect with God to be true witnesses of Jesus Christ. How do we connect with God? How do we call ourselves true witnesses of Jesus Christ? Allow me to take you through the 10 steps of becoming true witnesses of Jesus Christ. Step number one, have a regular prayer time. Regular prayer time. For the many years I have taught about prayer, and especially a very specific prayer of the Novena. One of the reasons why it is so difficult to do a Novena, it is because Novena is a prayer of discipline, and it needs somebody who can be consistent. One of our greatest undoing as Christians is because our prayer time is not regular. Sometimes, uh, we pray at, at 2 a.m., at 3 a.m., at 4 a.m., at 6 a.m., sometimes you don't even pray. So if you don't have a schedule, you know, that my prayer time is so regular, and I know that every 3 I wake up for my prayers, or every 4, or every 6, or whatever time. But that's why I need to ask you this question. What is your prayer time? If you cannot answer that question, my brother, my sister, you have a job to do. You need to ask, what is my prayer time? You may say that my prayer time is 6 a.m. Then I'll ask you the second question. Is your prayer time regular? Now that is a story for another day. Step number two, serve others. Remember, Service to humanity is service to God. We meet our God through serving others. Number three, be a giver. Be a giver. Finances, whatever physical wealth that God has given you, be a giver even of your time. Be a giver even of your ideas. Be a giver even of your presence. Did you know that you will never get poorer by giving? Never ever. You cannot get poorer by giving. If anything, you continuously become endowed in all aspects. And if you don't know, try you never get poorer by giving. So be a giver. Number four, live for God and be willing to die for God. Don't I love that? St. Paul says, it is not I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Live for God and be ready to die for God. That way you become a witness of Jesus Christ and fundamentally you connect with God. Number five, be patient with others and yourself. On Sunday we said that um, no human being is perfect and as a result of this we may need to know that some people will get in our nerves. Some people will hurt us. Others will make us feel miserable. Others will frustrate us. Others will betray us. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with others. You may not be where you wanted to be. You may be fighting something in your life and you don't seem to be winning. Please don't give up. Do not give up. Be patient with yourself. Maybe somebody else, you have been asking to do one, two or three things. Nothing is happening. Be patient with them. Number six, 
mourn with others and be happy with those who are happy. Sometimes, unfortunately, we are only available when people are happy, not when they are mourning. The best way of connecting with God is to connect with the people in all their situations. When they are happy, you are there. When they are mourning, you are there. When they are eating, you are there. In their lack, you are there. When they are sick, you are there. When they are strong, you are there. Perfect. Number seven. Instead of worrying over your misfortunes, think of how much more fortunate you are than many others. Today, you may be unhappy because maybe your job is not well paying. My brother, my sister, there are people who have no jobs at all. Today, you may be unhappy because your son is misbehaving, because your daughter is misbehaving. There is somebody out there who has been crying to God day in, day out to get a child. Today, you may not be happy because your spouse is bad. Do you know there is a woman somewhere who is asking God to give her a husband, even if he will not be a good man. There is a man out there who is praying to God to give him a wife. In every situation that you are in, always know you could be better a hundred times than another person. Number eight. Sacrifice yourself for others. Learn to sacrifice for others. Get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your life. Stretch your hand out. Reach out. Revive someone. Lift up someone who may have fallen. That is our duty. Number nine. Don't be greedy. Do not be greedy before God and before others. <clears throat> Wanting to amass everything. Everything on my side. Everything on my side. No. Refuse. Refuse to be greedy. Refuse completely. And finally, understand that a great act of devotion and worship to God is not to hurt or harm any of his human beings since all human beings are created in his image we cannot call ourselves witnesses of jesus christ and we are going in life cutting trees cutting trees means we, for us to succeed how we have succeeded we have left more injuries than joys i know i have always said that um, if you have some wealth that you didn't make in a very good way, that your wealth has dots of blood and tears, that may not be such a genuine or maybe something to be happy about. You cannot be happy in life when you are hurting others. Remember, that person whom you don't like has the image of God in them. They may not be good, Remember, they have a father. They may not be so loving, they have a father. They may not be so kind, they have a father. They may not be so benevolent, they have a father. They may not be so respectful, but they have a father. You may want to revenge and do something to them. Please don't. Don't, because it won't help. Remember, when you persecute others, you are actually persecuting Christ himself. My prayer is, you are able to know where you stand as a Christian and what to do to remain strong. And I want to challenge you. When you remain strong, strengthen your brother. Strengthen your sister. There is joy when all of us are working and walking towards the path of righteousness. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Friday.